it's a, it's a Rumford fireplace, designed by Count Rumford in 1790s. His idea was to um, have a fireplace that was wide and tall and shallow to reflect as much heat. The smoke uh, chamber. Uh, from the fire. All the heat was. <laughs> Indeed, very exciting. Open in winter, closed in summer, no blowies in the house. And his brilliance was to, um, and we're about to put the flu design in. a throat, which is a curved. So if I keep the joint here and the air is, um, goes up through a narrow throat into a smoke chamber, it should effectively be he designed a venturi before yeah. venturis were designed by Mr. Venturi. This causes the smoke to uh, go up the chimney. The smoke is um, laminated. Can we go down lower or not? By no, the air on the roof really. that is also sucked into the... The lip is functioning well. ...up the chimney. Um, and apparently there's a tremendous heat differential between the, the front face of the throat and the back face of the throat of some 700 Thank you. degrees. Thank you. Ah, oh, great. Once the fire is established. And he designed them to um, be able to modify the large fireplaces in the old, huge mansion fireplaces of the 1700s. Get the designs off the net, but the, um, the throats and the smoke chambers and the flue tiles you can get from the States. However, we built ours just from the information on the net, not, not with ready-made components. Hey! <laughs> Shoot at him. This is a very big fire. <laughs> <laughs> we all run out. <laughs> oh, count and count, count profit. Count run for the count. Let's hope he's got it right. Go count. Here we go. Once the windows are in, it won't swell like this. Mm -hmm. 